They're too, if they have two works that are on the ballot or three works that are on the ballot and if they withdraw one Another or one if they up. withdraw one or two that others of their choices pop on, no. uh, we do not notify them of that. Correct. And yes. I'd like a ruling from the chair on that. That, that is, current practice is if another one pops up, we don't tell them, oh, you also have the sixth one. If you withdraw one, you yeah. have more on the top five. Great. Until they withdraw one and then. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. McCarty, for what purpose does the member rise? Yes. Other people have addressed other objections I might have said to the people speaking against the chair's ruling. I will simply say this. Um, it is frequently not the thing that gets the most nominations that, it, that wins the Hugo. I would rather the rules not pick that. I would, let the, I would prefer that the creators of the works choose what they think are their best, two their best up to two chances to win the Hugo. Is there anyone? <sighs> Uh, is there any objection to calling the question on the chair's Who still wishes to speak on the chair's ruling? All right. There are two, three people wishing to still speak. Call. Chairman. Yes. I would ask the mayor, I would like, before you finish stating that the, the motion you just made. Mr. Chairman, uh, Kevin Stanley, I would like to ask the maker of the motion to close debate if he would be prepared to withdraw the motion, a moment, to give the chairman 30 seconds to make a closing statement. It's all yeah. left in closing. Mr. Chairman, uh, I move, I, it, 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 yes, it's withdrawn, yes, okay. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I, I move to limit all debate remaining on the appeal to 30 seconds for a closing statement by the chair, and I ask unanimous consent for this motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there an objection? There's an objection. Yeah. Well, you got to take the vote. Yes, I understand that I have to take the vote. <laughs> all right. All those in favor of closing debate, and uh, other than 30 seconds for me to speak, please raise your hand. All right. Hands down. It's easily two thirds. All those opposed? All right. The motion appears to pass. It does pass. I'm going to give less than 30 seconds. I think this comes back in line with the current practice by Hugo administrators. Therefore, I think it's a lesser change. That's it. <laughs> All right. We will now vote on the chair's ruling. Again, this is a majority vote in the form of should the ruling of the chair be sustained. That means if you vote in favor, you are voting in favor of the chair's ruling it that it was a lesser change. If you are voting against <coughs> the ruling, then you believe it is a greater change. All those in favor of the chair's ruling being sustained, please raise your hands. All right, hands down. All those opposed? The ayes appear to have it. The chair's ruling is sustained. I'm going to ask the timekeeper how much time is left, if any, on the underlying amendment and the motion underneath of that. 15 seconds for, three minutes, 30 seconds against. Ms. Neal, for what purpose does the member rise? I'd like to make a motion to extend debate. By how much? Four minutes equally divided? There is a motion, uh, sec thank you. Is there any objection to it? All right. All those, what? All the inquiry. Is this extending time on the? Everything. It all comes out of the same bucket. All those in favor of extending debate by four minutes equally divided, please raise your hands. All those opposed? 
<laughs> All right. <laughs> the no's appear to have it. The motion fails. Can I put the, is there an objection to putting the question on the under, on the amendment? Seeing no objection, we are going to vote on the committee's amendment. That is the strike through an addition that is on the one page handout on the back, wrong side up, that you have. Does everybody understand what we are voting on? Mr. Kowalczyk. As the person who printed it, I was trying to save paper, and I really I, don't like the, the implication I made a mistake. The chair withdraws his comments on the paper. <laughs> um, does everybody understand what we're voting on? What are you objecting to? Uh, the, the meeting has agreed. No. No. There's still 15 seconds. <laughs> On the amendment. Yeah. I'm On all of it. Yeah. Come to the microphone. Jason Spitzer. Um, I thought we had three minutes for and, and 15 seconds or something. Um, I'm a little confused by this. We keep talking about common practice, and maybe it's me, uh, but the wording to me says only the uh, nominees with the most nominations, or only it works with the most nominations, I'm sorry, will appear on the final ballot. I know we've been going back and forth about whether we contact authors or creators, and um, We've been going back and forth about whether we contact them and say you have four things, which two do you want, or you have these two things. So uh, one I'd ask could be, could we clarify that? I know we kind of did or tried to. I'm just confused, sorry. On the other hand, and I hate to send this back to committee, but should we reword this so that, <laughs> yes, I know no one wants it, but it doesn't seem clear based on who gets contacted about what, when. So guess. some of these questions are details of administration. The Constitution explicitly leaves that to the administrators of the Constitution. And it's a, if you can't figure it out, it's up to the administrators to decide. And it can be inconsistent from year to year. And that's the way it is. For what purpose does the member rise? Come to the microphone. My name's Rich Horton. I had one very simple question. I'm sorry if it's already been addressed. You, can you lean into, or just, yeah, yeah thank you. you. I had one very simple question. I'm sorry if it's already been addressed and I missed it while I was off at a panel. I don't understand what happens if there are two nominations tied. What the, the, the uh, amendment, or the uh, statement says nothing about if the author has three, three stories nominated and all three have the same number of nominations, how do you decide which one, which two go forward? Uh, I'm, I'm going to let the parliamentarian well, answer that question. Consider I just repeated what I just said. If you can't, if it doesn't say and you can't figure it out, it's whatever the Hugo administrators decide to do. It's delegated to them. Uh, does it say all tied nominees shall be listed? Hmm? Yeah. 393? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All so, tied nominees get listed. So in that case, there would be three. Prob yeah. Same way we sometimes wind up with seven these days. But uh, in that case, does that mean they would be considered as two and you add one extra one? Yeah. Up the administrator. Okay. If you can't figure it out, it's up to the administrator. <laughs> it's very simple. All right. I'd like to put the question to the floor. Is there any objection to voting on the amendment reported out by the committee? Seeing none, we're going to vote on the amendment. Does everybody understand what we are voting on? Yes. All right, all those in favor of the amendment, please raise your hands. Hands down, all those opposed? The ayes appear to have it, the ayes do have it. The motion, or the amendment passes. Don't want to. We're now back to the underlying motion. How much time is left? 15 seconds for 330 against. 